Pneumonia is the world's biggest infectious killer of adults and children, claiming the lives of 2.5 million, including 672,000 children in 2019. Pneumonia is an infection of the lungs that causes inflammation and makes it difficult to breathe. Diagnosis of pneumonia is crucial, especially in younger children. Anyone can get pneumonia, but pneumonia especially affects children in low- and middle-income countries. Malnutrition, air pollution, low birth weight and preterm birth, no access to hand washing, and suboptimal breastfeeding are the leading risk factors for child pneumonia death. Globally, almost one in three children with suspected pneumonia is not taken for care. Every 47 seconds, a child less than five years of age dies of pneumonia in the world. Severe pneumonia presents with hypoxemia, which means that your child has low oxygen levels in their blood. The early recognition and treatment of hypoxemia in children with pneumonia is crucial. What is pulse oximetry? Pulse oximetry is an essential and easy tool for the detection of hypoxemia, which is low blood oxygen. Pulse oximetry is a sensor that slips over your finger and measures the amount of oxygen in your blood. Pulse oximetry is painless and non-invasive. Two different readings are shown. One, oxygen saturation, which refers to the amount of oxygen in your bloodstream, and two, pulse rate. Detection of hypoxemia, together with other symptoms such as cough, fast breathing, chest in drawing, cyanosis, nasal flaring, and fever could help in the detection of pneumonia. For a child less than two months, fast breathing means 60 breaths or more per minute. For a child between two and 11 months, fast breathing means 50 breaths or more per minute. For a child between one and five years old, fast breathing means 40 breaths or more per minute. Recognizing the symptoms of pneumonia can save the life of your child. Early treatment with oxygen and antibiotics saves lives. Pneumonia can be prevented with vaccines, especially for Haemophilus influenza B, pneumococcal, and measles. But currently, half of the world's children don't receive all of these vaccines. It is very important that every child is fully protected with all of the recommended doses of the pneumonia-fighting vaccines, and that new vaccines for other leading causes of pneumonia like influenza and respiratory syncytial virus are developed. You can help with education and awareness regarding pneumonia. Share this video, tell your loved ones about pneumonia, participate in World Pneumonia Day November 12th every year, and share on social media with hashtag pneumolite and every breath counts. While you were watching this video, four children and 10 adults have died of pneumonia. Stop pneumonia, save lives. For a better world, a new world. Pneumolite.